Everybody. So today I'm going to be doing my beauty favorites for the month of May. I do have quite a few favorites but they are things that I may have mentioned in the past because at the moment I have been not really spending a whole lot of money on beauty mainly because I've been spending a lot of money on clothes lately. I'm kind of obsessed with this line called Boob, which is like an organic nursing wear line. And they have really cute things. I'm actually wearing one right now. And I've just gone a little crazy this month with them. So I don't have actually any new beauty things, which I originally intended to buy some new makeup, but I didn't. So yeah, pretty much these items that I bought from this line boob are definitely one of my favorites for this month, but we'll go ahead and get into the more, you know, beauty thing. So firstly for hair care, I showed you guys in my bathroom tour um, that I bought this shampoo. I was trying out a new one. Um, this is the Lagona Volumizing Beer and Honey Shampoo. And I really, really like it, actually. The only problem is, is that it is a little bit difficult to lather, so you have to use quite a lot of it. Um, but that's kind of a good thing in a way because you can tell that that means there's not a whole lot of sulfates in it. The more bubbly they are, the more sulfates they usually contain. So this one doesn't have a lot, but my hair feels really, really clean afterwards. I do have to use quite a lot, especially since I have a lot of hair. Um, but I've really, really been enjoying it. And actually, like, the second ingredient is beer on here, so it's really really concentrated in beer and beer is known for being good for your hair so I've been really enjoying it. Next is I have been reaching for my Intelligent Nutrients hair conditioner that I've had since last year. It's almost, uh, I still have quite a lot actually. I'd still, I'd say I still have about a hundred mils probably left in this bottle. Um, but I really, really love this conditioner. You don't need to use a lot of it and it really goes a long way. It's also really great for summer because it leaves like this minty fresh feeling on your head. It's just really cool. Now for skincare, um, this past month my favorite skincare item has definitely been the Lavish Abundance Best Skin Ever. I've been using it on my face every single night and I've been cleaning them with these disposable organic cotton pads. And I usually use washcloths, but I've been really enjoying using cotton pads because it's just so much softer and I can see how much dirt is coming off of my face and I just feel like for whatever reason the cotton pads do a better job than the washcloths. I don't know if it's true or not but I have been noticing that my pores seem a lot less clogged and you can actually see like the dirt coming off and it's just so soft and nice and I know it's better for the environment and whatnot to use regular washcloths but I've just been really liking it. It's just been really nice for me. So yeah, I've been doing the oil cleansing method with cotton pads and um, I've been using the Lavish Abundance Best Skin Ever which is one of my favorite oils. Also for skincare, this is actually something that you guys will be seeing next week. I made a DIY postpartum sits spray for your vagina <laughs> video. Um, it's going to be up next week. For the time being, I'm using it on my face. Um, it's basically just like witch hazel and peppermint. You guys will see everything that's inside of it on the video on Thursday, but I've been using it on my face and it's been really nice when it's like really hot outside, which it hasn't really been that hot outside, but you know, it's been really nice like face toner basically and I made it myself. Now for makeup and makeup is something that I actually really wanted to get like a whole bunch of new things, but I just can't really afford it right now because I've spent all my money on boob. I've been really wanting to order from Vapor Organic Beauty again. This is one of my favorites for this month. It's a little sample that I got from them one time. It's the Vapor Aura Blush in Courtesan. I really would like to go get like the full size version of it. Um, it's a multi-use blush and it's like a cream. Here's what the sample looks like. It's like a really pretty rosy, mauve peachy pink. It's really, really versatile. Um, but you can use it on your cheeks, you can use it on your lips. I've been using it mostly on my lips because I don't really like to wear blushes because I have kind of a natural um, rosy tint to my cheeks. Um, but you can use it on your cheeks. So I've been really wanting to order a full-size version, but I'm going to have to wait it out a couple months because I've already spent all my money, like I said. I've been finding use for the Stratus Instant Skin Perfector, and this is a product that is something that's supposed to optically blur your imperfections and I tend not to wear it all that much because I like to try to keep my skin just like as clear as possible. Um, this is a really good option. It's a better option from foundation I think. It basically just you put it on and it kind of 
gives the illusion that you have perfect skin because it's kind of like an overall highlighter and it's like a purpley violet. Let me just swatch it on my hand for you guys. It's like a purpley violet color when it's on your skin and when you work it in and that kind of gives the illusion of like perfect skin without any red spots and all that kind of stuff um, but I don't really like to use it all on my skin unless I have unless I'm having a really really bad day or like having a really bad time with my skin I don't like to use it everywhere just because I like to keep my skin as you know as pure as possible what I have been really liking to use it for is under my eyes because I've been having really bad problems with dark circles because my sleep is kind of going down the drain because as you guys know I'm gonna have a baby soon so it's just I can't sleep at night I can't get comfortable and the baby's keeping me up already and then my last favorite for this month is the soft light Slavera glow highlighter and this is in the one golden shine and I just think it's really cool for summer I really really like the formulas of these because they're shiny and kind of like a pearlescent product but they are not in any way like sparkly so you're not gonna get a whole bunch of sparkly fallout I like to put it like right at the height of my cheekbones just to kind of bring attention to them and also just um, because it's fun and summery so those are all my favorites. You guys can go to my blog to see pictures and find out more product information there. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I don't know how many more videos there's going to be in the near future because I could have the baby at any time now. I, my due date is in two weeks. It's very, very likely that I will have the baby, I think, in the next you know, few weeks here. So there will definitely be a video up next Thursday and it will be the DIY toner that I showed you guys, but I'm going to be calling it the DIY postpartum sit spray um, that you use for your genital area after you have a baby. So that will be up next Thursday. And if I didn't have the baby, then I will probably try to get another one up on Thursday. Um, but I will be taking a short break for like a couple weeks after little foot, my baby, that's what I call my baby, <laughs> arrives. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.